Alrighty, so my co-pilot for today is oh. Jules. So it's, it's Jules and Jules. We're going on an in, what? Where, where are we going on an international adventure with international friends. Yes. So I'm gonna go take you to some of the international markets we have here in Atlanta. It's actually technically Buford, Georgia, um, but it's just northeast outside of the Atlanta perimeter. So. To a place that sells a lot everything. Of good food, a lot of food, a lot of good places to explore. From like cakes to the same shelf with like um, pig's feet, you know, one yeah. of them kind of places. So let's go. Find a little bit of everything. That's yeah, cool. but not you don't want to eat them all at the same time. They'll even have those um, duck century eggs. They'll have everything, mm, I'm sure. I don't think I've seen those, oh but my I've God. seen some interesting things. You can watch a video on my channel and just don't eat them ever. All right, let's go. Ah, oh, a Buford Highway Farmer's Market. Trying not to record other people, but just, uh, you know, unfortunately this is America. So, uh, like, I don't know whether, I, I've been here before, but that's a couple of years ago. Part of me's nervous and part of me's excited at the same time. You'll see what I mean when we get in there. We are in a few fruit and veg. This place is huge. Honestly, it's like, this is just the start of it. So, avocados are twice the size of our avocados. I, I've got a basket, I don't know why. I get, in too, I get too intimidated to actually buy anything in these places. So, so anyway, this is just this is just the boring bit. This is like, we started in fruit and veg, but it does get more interesting as we get around. So, right, what's on the list? What the hell are they? It's like cacao pods. Oh, it is, isn't it? That's yeah, amazing. There's a lot of more interesting stuff here than you would otherwise. Yeah, see, they see? Don't have them this Bang. Time, but I've seen before here they have like the nine fingered lemons. Nine fingered so, lemons. It sounds like a actual... finishing move for Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Do the nine fingered lemons. I mean, can't get scale here so instead I'll just pick one up that's a big ass apple somebody individually polishes these you know comment down below if you've ever ate one of these a dried persimmon it doesn't look too appetizing to me but it could be the best thing ever looks like a fig squashed with a mushroom okay we only have like Three different style of peppers. So we have Most red, stores, green, you're only gonna get maybe and orange. Three or four. But that, Which I mean, really, like the green pepper and the orange and red. Those they are look interesting. All the exact the same one. Go for it. Like the but, green, orange, all those bell peppers yeah, yeah. are the exact same pepper. It just depends on how long they let it age. My jalapenos are my favorite. So you got a uh, plantain from Jamaica. I don't know. These are the baby bananas, which are like I don't quite see the point of. Like the size of my thumb. A red banana, I've never had one of them before. So, it's a crazy amount of stuff. How'd you like them apples? Oh, I tried growing these ones unsuccessfully. One day. I will uh, be the king of the oyster mushroom. And I love these uh, enoki stuff. They're amazing. So, 2 dollars that's not bad. Awesome. Oh my god, a sugar cane. Um, and cactus leaves, look at this. It's hilarious. I'm not gonna pick one up because I know what will happen. I'll feel a bit of a prick. I don't even know what it is, a yellow squash. See? That whole section is still peppers. Like, when it was the bell peppers on the other side. Oh, yeah, side, yeah, yeah. Still peppers on this side. There's a wide variety. So, what's this? Uh, I think these are aloe vera. Oh, aloe vera, that's cool. Was it, was it agua? Was, hang on, what's the other one? Agave. Is it agave? I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> I don't know what these are either. 
Oh, little, little cheese. Man, this is awesome. I know, literally, it's just a bag of dream things. Tomatillos, okay. They look like Brussels sprouts to me. And then more chilies, more chilies, more chilies, and then eggplants. Oh my God. It's gonna be like a two hour long video. We, we met you earlier. <laughs> so this is a potato. Oh, it's a purple one. A purple potato, there you go. Cheap as well. I wonder what they roast up like. I'd want them as jacket potatoes, I think. And then you've got the tricolors, obviously. Because, like, you know, everyone should have three different colored potatoes on their plate. And that's what I cooked for a roast dinner. Russets, they were really good. Well. If I was going to the cinema, I'd, I'd have some gummy sharks. I'm not. What are these? Weird gummy bears. Cured pork ears, anyone? No? I don't know. Feet? They literally don't waste anything yet. I don't, I don't know what that is. Maybe because someone can uh, mention down below. It's just pickled pork skins, okay. So yeah, they literally don't waste anything. I mean, they like them in the big size as well. Look at that. $36. So it doesn't look appetizing to me. Don't knock it till you try it. Boom! Oh, cheese, 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 ham, 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 everything. It's intimidating. <laughs> Have you been in here enough times where you know everything, where everything is? Good. There's your pre packed wings. Everything's a good standard here. Little cuts of things that we don't get. Mmm, pig feet, cross cut. <clears throat> I'm sure they're delicious. But, um, yeah, they just don't look too good to me, but like, I'm, I'm not going to knock it until, if, if somebody served me up pig feet, I would eat it. So we were actually only talking about tripe earlier. I've never tried it, you have. In the car on the way here. So yeah, literally. And so we just found it. That does not look appetizing to me at all. Anything where you can see, still see the fur from the inside of an animal don't work. But then I found this, I, I thought this was like something from Jaws. This is actually a, a, a beef tongue, an entire tongue. That's huge, man. What's that, 50, nearly $50? Let's see, ox lips are also... Yeah, but look, look at the fur. I, I used to work in a burger factory when I was a kid, mm. and that, that's what went into our burgers. Gross. Yeah, it was gross. And this is why people become vegetarian. And yeah, what is this? Beef tripe ass. Okay, as if tripe didn't sound bad enough. Now they've called it tripe ass. Pork fat. My God, make sell, sell some weird shit here. So yeah, they like they they like their meat on the fatty side. Can I interest you in a pork uterus? Oh no! Oh, I need some hand sanitizer after this. Mmm, pork uterus. If it was deep fried and covered in breadcrumbs, I'd probably eat it. Is that more tripe? What is this? What is this then? What is hog? I don't know. Okay, good. Meat of unknown origin. These look like penises. I don't know. Pork bung. Bung? It might be, I don't know. I'm gonna have to research my own video. It looked like, it, that might be a, like a, a pig's anus, but the in. Yeah, I'll look it up right here. Go, here we go. So we've got one one video and one researching to work out what pork bung is. Jesus, 
pork uteri. Large intestine. Oh, so that's a large intestine. I think I'll happily Flower give. Tea, return give to, yeah, so. I'll give that a miss. Official name, it is the pig rectum. Oh, so it is the pig's ass. Right I was yeah. right. So, yeah, there you go. Sometimes like, uh, it's good to, to be able to recognize ass of any uh, living creature. So these are pig's tails. Oh, they used to, they used to be wagging those little tails. Okay, the hog mole is on the stomach. And that's stomach, so yeah. like a stomach lining. Man, I feel like I need to be more adventurous over here and like buy some pig's ears. This is not oh. a normal grocery store in America. This is <laughs> Oh my god. Market, where you have a lot of different cuisines mixed together. It's when you can buy stuff that's still got hair on it and, and bite marks from another pig. No, thank you. No, I think I'll leave that. So, what's this bit here? And more, more, more little waggy tails. Oh, this is funny. I just had to reach down. I just got to pick up this, um, this ox. How do you, you pronounce that? Pizzle? I would ox say. pizzle. So I think the clue's in the name, but I'm basically holding a, a tray of penis right now. So uh, they, they've got some strange shapes. Yeah, I, I think I'll leave that there as well. So turkey drumsticks. What have we got going on over here? Farquhar over here. Farquhar, whole duck. I don't mind a bit of duck. No, I like duck. Rabbit's good. Here's a section that is close to my heart because we don't get this back home and I was born on a little island by it. I've always lived by the sea. The irony is that yeah you live on an island. And like yeah that is the irony. We we did we did have like fishmongers and stuff like that but the whole no. fishmonger shop was smaller than this counter. Yeah let me get maybe five, five, four, five eight. They even got well five. Oh pieces? Pieces, yeah so I don't know how much it's gonna weigh it doesn't the, the big pieces please bigger pieces. Baby squid, baby octopus, catfish nuggets, never had that. Yeah, they've got some good fish here. All the salmon, oh no. My first thing that I have to pick up and buy is this wakami salad. So I'm regretting putting my basket down now. But maybe I'll uh, smoke the herring, this is, this is good. Okay, so my first object of desire is this. But then you got red up to us down there as well, which is pretty damn good. Look at that tuna, man. Yeah. I mean, shrimp everywhere. Look at the special. $7.99 a pound. $6.99. $3.99. So, and then these bad boys. Tiger shrimp. Look at them. Size of that bad boy. Boom. This is why I like seafood in America. Oh, I haven't had conch beef for ages. I don't think I've had a capillon. So th this is this is from uh, Dungeness. So this is English, which is weird. All the way so, over. Yeah. So not far from where I was born. Boom. Let's go and see if they've got some crabs that might want to bite us. Oh yeah, I remember. Um, last time I videoed here, I got told off a video. Yeah, they can. They come and stopped me, or well, they tried to, until I walked around an aisle and just lost them because it's so massive. I feel like you can get away with it more with your accent as well. Yeah. Because uh, obviously tourists. you're filming the fish. Uh, I am filming the filming fish. People. No, they were, they were saying don't film the prices. Uh, Why not? It's like, it's all about competition, right? The whole squid. That would be a thing. Yeah, if I was cooking, I'd definitely come here. So here we go, this is the European Iron Horse. So we've got Scandinavian, Dutch, British, French, Italian, blah, 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 everything. So, 
Debbie's hopeful for what was it? She wanted more oxo. Yeah, oxo. Uh, I don't see. I don't see any of that. Right, I'd recognise it as soon as I saw it. It's not here. They got Dutch. They got Irish. No, we're looking for our friend for some OXO stuff. I made her an OXO addict. Here's all the crazy cakes. I don't know what they taste like. Probably sugary. I mean, if I was going to go for anything, I'd probably go for that brownie squash caramel thing there. That looks good. Oh, I can't cap capture it. They turn the flush on. Now the lights in the way. Anyway, that looks good. Cookie squash, cake and lemon. And then below there you got all the weird chicken salads. Man, I just feel I'm, I'm putting on pounds just videoing all this. It all looks pretty good though. And then you get down there. Sour green tomatoes and soups and god knows what. And then cheese. There's there's no random like there's no order to this. If you want to buy something weird and wonderful, come here. Man, I'd love to get used to this and know where things are and what things are but there's too many things I, I could literally come, come here for my entire life and have something different every day and I still not get through the store I don't think apricot tart that looks pretty damn good and then this is Russian stuff it's still fully stocked I wonder why so and then the kielbasa sausage halal more eclairs more pe they wow you got everything here. And so far all I've picked up is seaweed. <laughs> the Euro Deli looks interesting. Oh, so that's, that looks like a cake, but it's got lamb in it. Potato patties. Cheeseburger, I'm guessing. So... Homemade beef patties, they don't look like our patties, do they? But let's see, the potato fried patties, cabbage fried, whatever that is, hachapuri. Man, I need a guide. <laughs> so much stuff here, it's crazy. That looks good, that looks like baklava. Yeah, there you go. I haven't had any of that. What the hell is this? I'm a totally roll. Oh, pistachio roll. Awesome. Alrighty. That's what I'm talking about. That's a lot of gyozas, dumplings. Jeez, the size of the packets as well. Looks like the size of my leg. A lot going on here. About these aisles. Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Japanese, Korean. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. These look, uh, these are like my kind of aisles. We've got Hello Panda and stuff. So I lost Julie for a second and then I found her. She's there. Well, okay, let's just go chase Julie while she's looking for stuff. Hopefully, looking for Oxo in the Korean section. You are, aren't you? I'm trying to find the things that one, but I can't find anything. Yeah. Oh, do you know what, though? So here's the canned meat and fish section. Flavored crisp food. Yeah, I might have to have a look at that. Testing. Chunky corned beef, quail eggs, luncheon meat. I ain't seen no spam yet. Mushrooms. Oh man, I love this shop. And then you got all of the um, rice noodles and stuff over this side. Dried radish, dried red dates, dried everything, man. <laughs> That's the biggest uh, box of seaweed I've ever seen. There's my hand as, as kale, kale, 
to scale. Oh my god. So yeah, there's a lot of seaweed there. Seaweed's good for you. It's the only thing I've bought so far. And then they got these little snacks which they don't go anywhere. I like the big bags. Where are the big bags? Damn good. All these different flavoured lays. These are just some bizarre flavoured ones. Yeah, ones you can't even tell what they are because there's no English written on them. Oh, usually there's English underneath. Okay. Like this one's fried oh, yeah. chicken wings with sriracha sauce flavour. Ooh. This one's lager flavour, apparently. I can't see a flavour on that one. <laughs> want to know though. No, I don't see a flavour unless there's something on the back. Lee's potato chips. Peach beer flavour. But yeah. <laughs> if I want to buy a, a packet of Lay's, it has to be like something I've never had before. I might go for this. A roasted fish flavour Lay's. Could be disgusting. It's a big packet. Oh, I don't know, man. Too much option. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here and buy some dried seafood. I'll tell you why, because... I had long-term COVID last time I was here and I couldn't eat any of it. Ah, that's a big sausage. So you've got seasoned pork hock there. Bits and pieces, already got that. Ooh, it's damn good. Barbecue pork, stuff you from the pickles. There's also different soy sauce eggs, a bit of kimchi, what's this up here, pickled garlic stem, that looks fascinating, what are these, salted pollock roe, oh, wow. lotus root, dried radish, Seasoned fish, man. It, I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> it looks fascinating. Seasoned mushroom, bellflower, Korean lettuce, and cheese. Give myself some cold fish. That looks good. Yeah. It's good for some cold fish. And then you got like stir fried baby anchovies. <laughs> that looks too weird to eat, but it might have to be a thing. Squid salad. Man, they got the good stuff here, and then you've got the sushi there. This is good. Right. Let's grab me some of that. That'll do. Don't know why, just jumped out at me. Ah, what do I do go for? The baby anchovies or the seasoned squid salad? Well, do you know what? Maybe all three. So let's just go with a little one of them and whatever the smallest one here is 360 there you go some weird baby anchovies so there you go that's something weird some weird seafood to try let's get it in oh look at that a box of baldac two times spicy my favorite noodles they've got so many here man if i wasn't backpacking I'd be literally filling a trolley right now. Honey, I don't even know what that is. Lots of boxes. 
Right, okay, I think we're at the uh, rice part of the store. So, this is big and somewhat intimidating. Oh shit, I don't want to drop my fish. Here's some noodle section, see if I can find a cup noodle. Because I haven't had one since coming over. Something jump up out of me. Oh, I do like the original curry ones. But I've had them before. It's got to be something different. Okay. I've eaten a lot of noodles, so you have to excuse me. Oh. Baldak Carbonara. <laughs> okay. It's got to be one of those. Look at that, and it's pink as well. Yeah, that's that's going in my basket. Fish, 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 fish. Weird seaweed and even weirdest noodles. That's my total. So, so there's a theme here. We're now in a Korean supermarket, which uh, I've just picked up some seaweed. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Are you sure that's seaweed though? No, that one's sweet, sweet corn. corn. No, I'm, I'll stick. I'll stick with the seaweed. Thank you though. So I got. I've gone with a, a seafood type thing what the hell is this <laughs> peanut crunch oh I'm only here for a few days really but that does look damn good these are a few of my favorite things Kind of overwhelmed by Korean food now, which is not a bad thing, but I just wish I knew where to start. All I've done is seafood, so and even seaweed crisps. Man, there's so many stuff I don't know. Key lime green tea chocolate pie, custard cakes, Korean crackers. My brain is overwhelmed. <laughs> literally goes on and on and on and on it's great so but i'm finding it a little bit overwhelming now so i got me some noodles i got me some fish man it's just like everything you could ever imagine is here so if i lived here this would be a definitely a local place to come and shop especially if i was actually cooking a meal rather than just looking at stuff oh, i remember buying that last time that was so good so I might have to get some more of that, actually. More seaweed. So this is soju, so it's a Korean rice wine. I mean, at that price, it's got to be tried, isn't it? Yeah. So I think I'll go with the peach. Mix it with stuff as well. Oh, there's a pineapple. Oh my God. Right, yeah. okay. Or just an apple one. Well, let's go with this. And hopefully we'll be good friends. Is that plum? That'll do. There you go, and same colour as my pot noodle. We're in the, the sake aisle now and I just like spotted this, look. Uh, sake, sicky, sake, oh my god I can't even speak. A sake sippy cup with its own straw. So <laughs> part of me wants to uh, to get that but I've, I've already got a bottle of the other Korean stuff. But this is uh, fascinating and quite reasonably priced. So, and this is the Korean supermarket, like a few minutes away from the uh, farmer's market. But I'm enjoying myself. I don't know what kind of fish these are from, but they got some big balls. Lobster balls. They got fish balls that look like a little sausage. These, these all look fascinating. What the hell are they? Shrimp and fish roe. I need to come back here when I'm hungry. So, look at this. All lobsters, a bit of salmon, oh, a bit of conch, and them, them are the ones. The snow, snow grab. Check out these little suckers. I don't think I've eaten one of them, or have I? Oh. They don't look too appetizing when they're like that, do they? It's spicy. And then he spots the different flavoured spams. Hot and spicy, turkey, hickory smoke, 
with bacon. 25% less salt and just light. And I don't know what that means. Oh, less fat and everything. I'm still not buying any. I did last time. I almost got strip searched over a, a can of Spam. But that was jalapeno flavor.